Like everybody else in the automotive publishing business, I've been watching Ford very carefully over the past few years. Not only has Ford Division surpassed other domestic makes in terms of design, quality, and sales volume, Ford is also the only domestic which has increased market share in the face of ever tougher import competition. A lot of import buyers have begun to consider Ford products as viable alternatives to increasingly more expensive Japanese entries. And now, with Probe, Ford is challenging the imports in their traditional strength. Small, high-quality, well-equipped, and fun-to-drive sporty cars. That might seem pretty audacious, since the competition includes some of the most famous nameplates ever to roll off the dock. But after seeing what Ford has done with segment leaders like Escort, Taurus, Thunderbird, and Ranger, I've learned to take them seriously when they go after something. And I have to tell you, Probe has the potential to achieve another leadership spot for the division. Ford did not simply go out and buy a car upon which to hang the blue oval. Rather, Probe is the result of a unique partnership with Mazda, a company which is partly owned by Ford. During the five-year probe development process, Ford sent 30 designers and engineers to live and work in Japan, alongside Mazda personnel. Their team objectives build a best-in-class automobile to take on the leading import competition. As a result of this unusual team effort, Probe is not only a quality vehicle in terms of fit, finish, and feature content, it also has the precise feel any enthusiast who has driven an import will appreciate. For example, the front-wheel drive powertrain is quick and peppy. The steering makes it nimble. The four-wheel independent suspension system lets you feel the road without getting mugged by it. Yet Probe also very strongly reflects Ford's design philosophy. In fact, the style of Probe's aerodynamic exterior and ergonomic interior have virtually become Ford trademarks. In addition to combining the best of Ford and Mazda engineering and design, Probe is also manufactured in a completely new, state-of-the-art Mazda plant located in Flat Rock, Michigan. In fact, the car is two-thirds local content. But Probe is only Ford's to sell. Not even Mazda offers a product with Probe's styling comfort and convenience features, or ride and handling characteristics. What's more, Probe will be sold alongside Mustang, which gives Ford salespeople a unique opportunity to go after small specialty buyers from both ends of the buyer spectrum. Mustang will continue to offer the best value in the business for buyers who want traditional rear-wheel drive or V8 performance. The segment-leading Mustang is still an ideal product to face off head-to-head -head against Camaro and Firebird. On the other hand, Probe's international heritage, sophisticated technology, contemporary styling, and front-wheel drive give you a chance to attract buyers with a stronger import orientation. These buyers are somewhat younger, better educated, and more affluent than the typical Mustang prospect. They are also more discerning about their purchases and are very likely to look very carefully at directly competitive products like Toyota Celica, Honda Prelude, or Nissan 200SX. In addition, Probe should be attractive to prospects interested in Dodge Daytona, Chevrolet Beretta, Pontiac Grand Am, Acura Integra, or Mazda MX-6. There is bound to be some crossover between Mustang and Probe prospects, but with two products this strong in terms of value and performance, you really can't lose. When word gets out about Probe, and it will, that has to mean plus business for you, particularly since Probe has been given distinctly different multiple personalities for the broadest possible market appeal. The high volume Probe GL, for example, is a value package that comes in hundreds of dollars under comparably equipped Japanese competitors. Yet the GL also offers entry-level buyers outstanding performance because it includes the same features as the more upscale Probe LX. LX is intended for buyers who want the ultimate in comfort and convenience features. The Probe GT is really a different car altogether. I'm tempted to call it a small turbo coupe because that's the way it's equipped. 
It's for the enthusiast who really wants high-tech performance. I'm aware of no other product on the market that provides as much bang for the buck. From my perspective, Probe is clearly good enough to stand up to careful comparison by your prospects. Probe is everything I've come to expect from both Ford and Mazda. And clearly, that partnership has given you tremendous new sales opportunity. To help you take advantage of that opportunity, this video program will point out the most important product features you can discuss and demonstrate on all three Probe models. The program is conducted by automotive journalists Jack Nirad and Rich Seppos and racing driver Lynn St. James. Like myself, they have found a lot to like about Probe. Ford has given them this chance to share their thoughts with you, beginning with the value leader, Probe GL. I get to drive a lot of cars in my line of work. Everything from a Ferrari Testarossa to the Oscar Mayer Wienermobile. Real world? Frankly, I couldn't recommend either to my neighbor. This is the real world, Ford's new Probe, and it's a winner. In fact, this Probe GL with preferred equipment package 251A is such a great deal that prospects who have shopped around are likely to be amazed at the sticker. But resist the temptation to get right down to the deal. Many buyers might not believe at that price Probe could take on the likes of Celica or Prelude in terms of quality, performance, or equipment. Actually, Probe has advantages over all the comparable sporty imports, not to mention domestic products like Daytona. In fact, Probe hits just about all the product hot buttons for import-oriented buyers. Let me give you a few examples. Take a look at the styling. That's the first thing anybody notices, and I personally like this look very much. Probe is clean and contemporary, and it clearly reflects Ford's design leadership. The kind of buyer we're talking about also wants styling that makes a tangible statement. Probe's statement is simple. It says, I'm slick, I'm efficient, and I don't need a lot of excess trim. The bottom line on Probe styling? It has significantly lower aerodynamic drag than any of the best-selling sporty imports. In fact, it's lower than the Testarossa, as well as other exotic cars like the Lotus Esprit Turbo and the Porsche 928. You can actually point out many aero details in your walk around. Like the rounded nose with an integral five mile per hour bumper system. That's twice the government bumper standard. Or the concealed halogen headlamps that duck out of the wind altogether when not in use. The fenders flare out to direct airflow around the wheels. The bubbles in the hood provide clearance for the wheel struts so the front end can be lowered for even better aerodynamics. The side mirrors flow right out of the sheet metal. The wipers are concealed, and the glass is flush all around. Things are just as clean under the hood, where all customer service points like dipsticks and fluid fillers are color-coded and easy to reach. The secret to Probe's peppy front-wheel drive performance lies in its 2.2-liter four-cylinder engine with standard multi-port electronic fuel injection for precise fuel control. This 12-valve engine has three valves per cylinder, two intake valves and one oversized exhaust valve, all actuated by a common overhead camshaft. Compared with a conventional two-valve arrangement, this design moves air in and out of the cylinder very efficiently, so the engine can breathe better at high speeds. The customer benefit of Probe's three-valve design is both power and efficiency. In fact, Probe's 110 maximum horsepower and 130 pound-feet of torque exceed both the Honda Prelude and Nissan 200SX. Yet Probe also gets better EPA-estimated fuel economy. But because Probe's torque and horsepower curves are very broad and flat, one of the best features of this engine design is that it has a great deal of pep at low RPM, which makes it a real pleasure to run up through the gears on the standard five-speed manual overdrive transaxle. Likewise, Probe's other functional features make few compromises. The responsive rack and pinion steering also features standard power assist to help make tight maneuvers or parking easier to manage. Probe's suspension incorporates both front and rear stabilizer bars, which help counteract body roll during hard cornering maneuvers. 
and for outstanding riding comfort, all four wheels are independently suspended on their own coil springs and struts. This means that the force of a bump or rut encountered by one wheel is less likely to be transmitted to the other wheels. Probe's four-wheel independent suspension system is complemented by standard power-assisted front disc brakes and P185 radials mounted on 14-inch wheels, which is an inch larger than the standard wheels on both Celica and Prelude. Again, along the side, notice how clean and functional Probe styling is. And here, in back, Probe offers the versatility of a hatchback design, plus convenience details like an easy opening hatch that's supported by gas pistons, and a molded cover to keep cargo out of view. And here's another Probe advantage. With the rear seats up, Probe has nearly 12 cubic feet of cargo room in back. Probe's rear seats are a versatile 50-50 split-fold design, so they can accommodate both passenger and rear cargo. Or, with both rear seats down and the cover removed, there's room for up to 41 cubic feet of cargo. That's more cargo room than the comparable hatchbacks like Celica, 200SX, or Daytona. This Probe Package 251A also includes a rear window defroster, as well as extra value features like tinted glass, interval wipers, and dual electric remote mirrors. Another important point, Probe's fit and finish really say quality. The margins are all even around the doors, which open and close solidly. And Ford backs up probe quality with a 12-month, 12 12,000-mile 12, basic warranty, plus six-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty, and six-year, 100,000-mile corrosion protection warranty, the same as all other Ford models. Inside, probe keeps reinforcing that quality message with important details nearly everywhere you look. This standard sport bucket seat, for example, has exceptional fore and aft travel. Other adjustments include the back tilt, the headrest, and a manual height adjuster, which is a terrific convenience when there is likely to be more than one driver. Here's another interesting concept. The climate control ducting continues right into the door panels, which not only makes the side window demisters very effective, but with the doors closed, it also aims the outboard vents back into the center of the car toward the driver and passenger. This creates an impression that the entire instrument panel wraps around the driver. Yet Probe gives a feeling of spaciousness, and in fact, Probe has more front headroom than Prelude, more shoulder room than Celica, more hip room than 200SX, and more total passenger volume than any of them. What's equally impressive, Probe uses the space ergonomically. Everything in here is very functional and well thought out. The sound and climate controls are grouped in the center where both driver and passenger can easily reach them. The shifter has a smooth, short throw. The steering wheel feels very good. It doesn't have a large diameter to wrestle with, but it does have a thick rim with thumb depressions for a better grip. Horn controls are right there. Light and wiper controls are also at your fingertips with precise rotary adjustment. And performance instruments are standard on probe, including a tack, trip odometer, fuel, water, oil, and ammeter gauges. On package 251A, probe also includes a tilt steering column and instrument pod, another big advantage for cars with multiple drivers, and a feature not available on any of the competition. Again, unless you consider Porsche 928 to be a competitor. Unlock the lever. And as the wheel moves up and down, the instruments tilt as well. The advantage of this system is that the wheel can always be adjusted so that it doesn't block your viewing angle on the gauges. Package 251A also includes the light group with fade to off dome light that's a great convenience at night. It gives you about 10 seconds before it's fully extinguished so you can adjust your safety belt and get the key into the ignition. Oh, that's an impressive story. High quality, outstanding performance, best in class aerodynamics, plus lots of room and a high level of features, many of them exclusive. And I've only scratched the surface. After you spend some time with Probe yourself, you'll probably find even more features to talk about. But hopefully I've given you enough to see that a factual walk around is absolutely necessary to appreciate the built-in value on Probe. Equally important is a comprehensive demonstration drive. 
because there's no other way to fully appreciate the dynamic characteristics of this outstanding automobile. But that's the subject of the next segment of this program. I've been driving this specially designed Pro GTP racer for years. In fact, I set a closed course speed record in the Pro at Talladega International Raceway. But the reason Ford built the Pro GTP was to test new concepts in aerodynamics, electronic engine management, and vehicle dynamics. So I think it's very appropriate that Ford also gave the name Pro to its new, highly aerodynamic, small sporty model for the public. This probe also has outstanding functional qualities, even though its looks are what might first appeal to a prospect. To really get them excited, you've got to get them behind the wheel. Logically, the first thing to talk about in a demonstration drive is the powertrain. You should have already covered major features with the prospect at the dealership, but now they can actually feel the horsepower and torque of Probe's 2.2 liter fuel-injected engine. Point out that the car not only has excellent acceleration, but that it has very broad torque and horsepower bands. It feels peppy right from the start. That's one of the practical benefits of having three valves per cylinder. It's similar in concept to a four valve cylinder design, but this is a case where more is not necessarily better. The three valve design is mechanically simpler. Still, it's possible you'll get a customer who's really sold on the four valve mystique. If so, my suggestion is to simply take them for a drive. That will make them a believer. While the standard gearbox is a five-speed manual overdrive, this particular probe is equipped with the optional electronically controlled four-speed automatic overdrive transaxle. This sophisticated automatic has two features you should point out to prospects. First, just below the normal shift release button is a lockout button that holds the transaxle in whatever gear is selected. Once pressed, it essentially allows you to shift manually. One situation where that could be useful is if you wanted to start out in second to get rolling in snow. The second important feature you should point out is this power selector switch, which lets you change the program shift points. Here's the normal shift from second to third. Note the tachometer. If we select the power setting and try it again, the engine upshifts at higher RPM, providing more power for better acceleration. That would be good for hilly terrain, high altitude, or just when you want the sensation of higher performance. Fuel economy will not be as good, but the point is, Probe lets you make that choice for yourself. So overall, Probe's front wheel drive powertrain is very well engineered. It offers your prospect the traction benefit normally associated with front wheel drive, but I can hardly feel any torque steer. In fact, Probe's rack and pinion steering has a very predictable feel with just enough power assist to prevent you from fighting the wheel in really tight situations. That's something you should be sure to point out in any demo drive, and particularly to women buyers. Of course, part of Probe's excellent maneuvering response is due to the suspension, and Probe's four-wheel independent suspension is one of the best I've driven when it comes to combining flat handling and outstanding riding comfort. All in all, demo driving Pro will be a very satisfying experience for your prospects. And for more upscale buyers, this Pro Bell X with preferred equipment package 253A can enhance the experience even more because of all the additional comfort and convenience features you can point out. Besides upgraded sound insulation, you can talk about more luxurious trim details, like cloth seats and thicker carpeting. The LX also provides an electronic instrument cluster with the precision of bar graph and digital readouts for buyers who want that high-tech look. There's an electronic trip computer built into the dash, which can provide information like instantaneous or average fuel economy, miles to empty, and estimated time of arrival. There's electronic air conditioning with push-button controls for mode and air distribution, and an electronic AM-FM cassette player with premium sound. Also available as an option is a compact disc player. 
The package also includes a rear window washer wiper system, plus a walk-in passenger seat that makes it easy to get into the back. Another feature women appreciate in a small car. Package 253A includes a power driver's seat, plus a leather wrapped steering wheel and a speed control. Also included are the illuminated entry system, power windows and power door locks. Again, these convenience features will especially appeal to women prospects because they can also provide additional personal security. As a matter of fact, when you add all of the LX253A convenience and security features to probe styling and ease of handling, you've covered most of the issues that are important to women. Because of these features, I predict the package will be very successful among professional women, and I hope you'll make a special effort to go after this highly competitive market. We're only looking for the same thorough walk around and demo drive that you'd conduct for men. Ultimately, that's the only way any customer can really appreciate how impressive Probe really is. It looks terrific, and it's a rocket. For the performance enthusiast, those two attributes are what it takes. The Probe GT has both in abundance. Cars are my business as much as they are yours. And when a new one this impressive comes along, I can't wait to talk about it with other people who love cars. I hope that's the way you feel when a Probe GT prospect enters the showroom. The very name Probe suggests a sleek, high-tech design and in fact, the designer's signature is evident all over the GT. The rear spoiler, protective side cladding, aluminum wheels, and front end with air dam and fog lamps are all details that performance buyers look for. The design is very clean and well executed. It has a rightness to it, and it looks just as great inside. The Probe GT is a car that has a spaceship feel to it. The layout is very attractive, with an international appearance that's functional and neat. Everything is right here, right around the driver. The tilting wheel and instrument pod is a very sexy point, and it allows virtually everyone to dial in a comfortable driving position. And the GT has a full set of analog instruments, the kind preferred by enthusiasts. Seats are also very important for performance driving, and this is a very supportive seat. Not too firm, not too soft. The side bolsters hold you well. The lumbar support right here and the headrest are adjustable. The back reclines. The seat is trimmed in unique sport cloth fabric. But if I was working with a prospect, I wouldn't spend a lot of time sitting in the showroom. It's the way this car works that really sets it apart. To appreciate that, you have to get out on the road, but you better know your stuff. You'll only lose your credibility if you try to bluff the knowledgeable buyers likely to be interested in this car. Anyone who appreciates automobiles will really be excited in the first mile. The Probe GT has a fuel-injected, turbocharged, 2.2-liter, 12-valve engine that develops an impressive 145 horsepower and 190 pound-feet of torque more than the Toyota GTS or Prelude SI. Probe's turbocharger really provides the best of both worlds. At slow speeds, the engine provides good four-cylinder fuel economy. But when you need more power, the turbo rams fuel and air into the cylinders under pressure. The turbo has a water-cooled main bearing, so you should point out the visor label that describes turbo cooldown. For even more kick, Probe's turbocharger also features air-to-air -air intercooling to chill down intake air for greater density. There is very little turbo lag. Most important, when the boost comes on, you really know it. The engine is connected to a quick-shifting, five-speed overdrive transaxle with its gear ratios and heavy-duty components specifically designed to handle the turbo's power. Clearly, the Probe GT's got the right powertrain credentials. 
But don't get lost in all the technical details under the hood. Nobody could be unimpressed when this powertrain lights up. But Probe is also designed to stop just as impressively. Probe incorporates power-assisted disc brakes at all four wheels. And GT Package 261A also features an electronically controlled four-wheel anti-lock brake system, one of the great developments in automotive technology. ABS essentially pumps the brakes for the driver very quickly and almost imperceptibly. This prevents complete wheel lockup during emergency braking, and the driver is able to maintain steering control of the vehicle. Here's what that looks like on a vehicle without four-wheel discs or ABS. Of course, maneuvers like that could be very dangerous on public streets, so please don't try it yourself. Besides, there's a lot more to enjoy about GT performance than just starting and stopping. While the standard probe has constant ratio power steering, Probe GT's computer-controlled power rack and pinion system has a highly refined, speed-sensitive variable assist. This gives you full power assist for tight spots at slow speed, but at higher speeds and longer turning radii where full power assist is not needed, the steering responds more like a manual rack and pinion system and provides very good feel of the road. A good grip on the road is essential on a sports machine, and the GT has the right stuff for performance enthusiasts. Standard P195 performance rated Goodyear VR60s mounted on 15-inch aluminum wheels. The suspension is also something special. Probe GT has a four-wheel independent active suspension with computer-controlled automatic adjusting shock absorbers that react almost instantly to meet dynamic handling requirements. There are three suspension settings available to the driver, soft, normal, and sport. On soft, the GT gives you its smoothest ride, although it's still quite sporty. In the normal position, it remains in the soft ride setting unless the driver turns, accelerates, or brakes suddenly, in which case the shock absorbers tighten up automatically. In the sport mode, the suspension becomes even stiffer. It's very aggressive almost a competition calibration that maximizes wheel control for, say, a Sunday morning autocross. You can easily demonstrate Probe's automatic adjustable suspension right in the showroom by having the prospect jounce hard on the fender while you switch between soft and sport. And incidentally, an active suspension is not available at any price on the Celica GTS, the Prelude 200SX, or Daytona. In fact, when you combine this active suspension with speed-sensitive steering, high-performance VR tires, four-wheel discs with ABS, plus intercooled turbocharging, you've got a total performance driving experience that rivals some very expensive cars. As a result, the features for the money value of Probe GT Package 261A can really sing to the person who's shopped around. It not only includes ABS, but also features like electronic air conditioning, premium sound, speed control, and power seats, windows, and locks. In fact, 261A is so loaded, about the only thing buyers have to decide is whether or not they want a compact disc player or a flip-up open-air roof. The bottom line is this. The Probe GT is a lot of car for not a lot of money. It's an outstanding image product for your showroom and a world-class competitor for the driver who demands high performance, high quality, and high tech in a high visibility package. It's tough to find higher value than that.
started with the 81 Escort, Ford's world car, designed to win the world over and refined each year. Continuous improvements in quality, customer satisfaction, and value. That's why Escort's been the best-selling car in the world for five straight years. That's why today's Escort outsells Chevy's Nova, Sprint, and Spectrum combined. And for 1988 and a half, the tradition continues. Escort, still the one. Escort's still the one because it offers your customers so much, including a complete model line, which starts with Pony, our price leader. Available as a two-door hatchback, it's an excellent choice for economical transportation. The LX replaces last year's GL series designation to maintain consistency with other Ford lines. It's available in two-door, four-door, and wagon models. There's GT for small, sporty car buyers wanting fun for the dollar driving. And Escort EXP, an entry-level two-seater with particular appeal to young buyers, especially women. You get to be number one by offering great value, but you stay number one through continuous improvements because the competition is not standing still. 1988 and a half marks another milestone for Escort. New exterior design is the big news, starting with a tucked-in style of the new five-mile-per-hour polycarbonate bumper which complements the new fender treatment and new body side moldings. New polycarbonate bumpers are also used in back. The tail lamps, hatch, and quarter panels have all been reshaped on the hatchback models. And there's a new cargo cover for a more finished look. Larger 14-inch wheels with new standard P17570R14 all-season radials replaced last year's 13-inch wheels. An electronic AM radio replaces the previous mechanical radio for improved operation and reliability. And alert chimes replace the buzzer. There's increased use of galvanized steel for greater corrosion protection in doors, fenders, quarter panels, and lift gate. Each of our series has had specific changes, which include Pony's new fabric and sew style for improved appearance. The newly designated LX series also receives new seat fabric and sew style. And a five-speed is standard on the LX wagon. GT and EXP get their own new grille. GT spoiler has also been revised. We anticipate the production mix for GT will stay at about 15 to 20 percent, so you can continue to take advantage of its popularity. Refinements and fresh and styling are only part of the Escort story. Being number one means offering value. The key to Escort's value story is your successful merchandising of special value packages. These packages are designed to group highly desirable options at a substantial discount. And unique regional editions of the special value packages further enhance Escort's appeal. The LX special value packages offering a choice of five-speed or automatic transaxles include a long list of features with discounts from $677 to $779. And about 85 to 90 percent of all LX models will carry these packages. GT and EXP special value packages are equipped to appeal to younger prospects. And because of the success of the packages offered on 1988 models, the packages will again have a sticker price discount equal to air conditioning at no charge. And while we're talking value, 
you should know that over the last four years, Escort's average base-equipped wholesale price has increased less than 7%, while the average Japanese base-adjusted wholesale small car price has increased almost 28%. As a result, the Escort LX five-door now has a price advantage of $1,390 over the base wholesale price of a Toyota Corolla Deluxe. Escort is a key car in our small car strategy and should have great appeal to prospects being brought into your dealership to see Ford's new small car, Festiva. These prospects are looking for basic economical transportation and they'll be attracted by Festiva's low price. But they may need a slightly larger car or want an automobile made in the U.S. or prefer the convenience of an automatic transaxle available on all Escort models, including Pony. For the price conscious buyer, Pony can be a natural sell-up. It's a well-equipped car at a very attractive price. Your Festiva prospect might also want the convenience of four doors or need the versatility of a wagon. Again, Escort offers models you can sell up to. Escort wagon provides additional cargo room while still maintaining the benefits of a small car. That's a great sales edge because not all manufacturers offer wagons and Escort carries one of the lowest sticker prices in the industry. Now, what motivates the small car prospect to buy? And what key features does Escort provide to meet these buyer needs? We've established Escort's outstanding value. But these prospects also want a well-made car. Remember, Ford's had the best-built American cars for the last seven years. And as always, quality is job one at Ford. But they also want added assurance. Ford provides a six-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty and a six-year, 100,000-mile corrosion perforation warranty. This is a substantial warranty advantage compared with many imports. Just because they're shopping for a small car doesn't mean your prospect wants a cramped shoebox interior. Escort has more interior room than many of its Japanese and domestic competition from two to eight more cubic feet than Omni, Civic, or Hyundai Excel, 10 more than Tercel, and 15 more than Nissan Sentra Coupe. It also has more interior room than Dodge Shadow and Chevy's Cavalier and Nova. So while Escort carries an EPA designation as a compact, its inside room is anything but small. Escort is one big little car. Fuel economy is still a strong purchase motivation for many small car buyers. 88 Escort's EPA estimated ratings of 26 miles per gallon city, 34 highway, are terrific. We anticipate a similar rating for the 88 and a half. Prospects also want assurance that their automotive needs can be met anywhere. Ford's network of nearly 5,000 dealers means there's a dealership nearby with experienced help and a complete parts and service department. Escort, it's an important car to you. Maybe more than you realize. Did you know it represents over 30% of Ford Division's automotive sales? Escort, the world's best-selling car for the last five years. The best-selling car in the U.S. for the 1987 model and calendar year and continuously improve to make 88 and a half the best yet. Escort, it's still the one. Eighty-eight and a half Escort's fresh and styling is part of the latest in a series of continual improvements designed to keep it the best-selling car in America. This two-door LX with the five-speed manual special value package has a refined contemporary appearance. The new polycarbonate wraparound bumper has aerodynamic tucked-in styling. See how it blends in with the redesigned fenders and new body side molding. These bumpers should keep their attractive appearance a long time. And speaking of bumps, Ford's front and rear 5 mile per hour bumpers supply four times the government's required protection, providing added security for body and underhood components. 
And in some states, these bumpers may translate to discounts in auto insurance premiums. You'll want to check that out and use it in your presentation if it's applicable. Rounding out Escort's front-end styling are fracture-resistant halogen headlamps, which allow for bulb replacement without re-aiming, and new wraparound parking lamps for added side visibility. But it's in back where the styling changes for 88 and a half are most noticeable. The quarter panels and hatch have a more contemporary appearance. The rear refinements also include the new bumpers and these new wraparound tail lamps. These are evolutionary changes that continue styling refinements started several years ago. You'll find Escort's freshened appearance will attract a wide variety of prospects, including many current owners, and also appeal to many new prospects coming into your showroom to see the new Ford Festiva. But in today's highly competitive small car market, looks alone won't close many sales. It will also take good performance under the hood. Escort's 90 horsepower, 1.9 liter, electronic fuel injected engine, coupled with the five speed overdrive included in the LX special value package, delivers 12 more horsepower than Toyota Tercel and 22 more than Hyundai XL, while still providing competitive fuel economy. This blend of good fuel economy and performance is the result of many factors, including aerodynamic design, innovative use of weight-saving materials, and Ford's Eek 4 microprocessor. By the way, there are two important facts your customers should be made aware of regarding electronic fuel injection. First, stress that a high-quality fuel with detergent additives should be used because low-quality gasoline can plug the injectors, causing the engine to perform poorly. Second, unlike engines with conventional carburetors, fuel-injected engines do not require pumping the accelerator pedal before starting. All that's required is for the ignition key to be turned, in effect, a no-touch starting procedure. Properly explaining these two items may prevent customer problems and increase owner satisfaction. Also, Escort is backed by a six-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. While you have the hood up, point out how the fluid checks are clearly marked in yellow for ease of owner inspection and maintenance. And it's important that you stress the need to periodically check the fluid levels between maintenance intervals so that small leaks or normal usage don't reduce levels to where severe powertrain damage can result. A small point, but one that should show your prospects you want them to be completely satisfied with their escort. A comfortable ride is important to many small car prospects, and Escort's four-wheel independent suspension is engineered to help minimize the effects of road shock. Up front, it incorporates McPherson struts and a stabilizer bar to help control body lean during hard cornering. Escort's independent suspension also allows each wheel to step over bumps without transferring the shock across to the other wheel, as happens with a solid rear axle, such as on Chevy's Cavalier and Dodge Omni. Using two pencils like this to demonstrate the independent rear suspension can help you to explain this important product advantage. A significant Escort improvement is the addition of 14-inch wheels. These large wheels are fitted with new P175 all-season radials, which are designed to offer excellent traction in different kinds of weather. All this contributes to a ride which should be experienced with a demonstration drive. These luxury wheel covers are also included in this special value package. Power brakes are standard on all Escorts, and power steering is included in the LX Special Value Package. New body side moldings help protect the car from dings and scratches. This is a good time to mention that Escort has received even more corrosion protection for 88 and a half, with increased use of galvanized steel in fenders, doors, quarter panels, and lift gate. And Escort is backed with a six-year, 100,000-mile corrosion perforation warranty. In the back, the new cargo cover keeps items out of sight and offers a simplified detachment method. 
to utilize the flat load floor when the rear seat is folded down. That's just another example of Ford's commitment to even the smallest details. And inside, Escort is anything but small. You'll find 18 cubic feet of cargo space with the rear seat up. That's more than the competition. Hyundai, for instance, only offers 13 cubic feet of cargo room. Honda Civic has only 12 cubic feet. With the rear seat down, Escort's cargo room increases to 39 cubic feet. But for those who require even more cargo carrying capacity, the Escort wagon is available. Like all LXs, it can be equipped with the special value packages. With the rear seat up, it has 28 cubic feet of cargo room, four more cubic feet than Nissan Sentra wagon, and also more than Honda Civic wagon or Toyota Tercel. And with the rear seat folded down, Escort offers 59 cubic feet of cargo room, more than both the Honda Civic and Mazda 323 wagons. An important feature in all Escorts is the fuel shutoff switch, located behind the left panel in the cargo compartment wall. In the event of a major collision, the switch will be tripped automatically, shutting off the fuel supply to the engine and the power to the motors that move the automatic shoulder belts. It's vital your prospect know that the switch must be reset or the car will not run. Tinted glass and a rear window defroster are included in the special value package, as are dual electric remote control mirrors, both adjusted by this switch on the driver's door. The first thing people notice on the inside is the automatic shoulder belt restraint system. Although it will be different to your customers who've never seen it before, a quick demonstration will show them how convenient it really is. All they have to do is shut the door and turn the ignition switch on. The belts simply move into place. When the door is opened, the belts move away automatically. And point out the inside release levers so your prospects understand that in the event of an accident they could not be locked in by the belts. Remember, the manual lap belt should also be worn at all times for maximum protection. This system used together with the manual lap belt has been judged by many to be the most efficient, comfortable and easiest to use. GM and many other competitors use systems not nearly so convenient and your prospects may have already discovered that. The low back reclining front seats feature attractive new cloth and trim. While Escort carries an EPA designation as a compact car, its inside room is anything but compact. With an interior cargo volume index of 103 cubic feet, it's not only roomier than the old Escort, but it also has two more cubic feet of interior room than the Omni America, six more than Civic, eight more cubic feet than Hyundai XL, ten more feet than the Tercel, and fifteen more cubic feet than Corolla or the Nissan Sentra Coupe. The special value package on LX includes a long list of popular features such as interval wipers, an instrumentation group with easy-to-read white-on-black graphics, tachometer, trip odometer, and a temperature gauge, and electronic AM-FM stereo radio, and an overhead console with integral digital clock. Also included as part of this package is the light and security group, which includes an illuminated passenger side vanity mirror, glove box, and ashtray lights engine and cargo compartment lighting, a headlamps on reminder that uses chimes instead of the previous buzzer, and handy remote fuel filler door and lift gate releases. As mentioned earlier, the special value package also includes a rear window defroster, tinted glass, dual remote control mirrors, body side moldings, luxury wheel covers, and power steering. Although the two-door LX with the special value package is expected to be your volume seller this year, there are many buyers who will prefer the convenience of four doors or a wagon. So the special value packages are also available on the LX four-door and the LX wagon.
The 88 and a half Escort LX offers refined styling, outstanding engineering, excellent warranties, Ford's reputation for quality, good fuel economy, and special value packages. All of which adds up to tremendous value for your customers and tremendous opportunity for you. That's why the 1988 and a half Escort will continue the tradition of sales leadership. That's why it's still the one. Escort GT with special value package 330A is a perfect choice for sporty small car buyers seeking affordable driving fun. The restyled grille with unique black insert is shared only with EXP. In combination with the dual fog lamps and functional air dam, GT defines a look that says, this is a driver's car. The attractive ground effects panels give Escort GT a lower, more assertive look and presence. And the revised rear spoiler keeps the GT in pace with current design trends. A 1.9 liter high output multiple port EFI engine with heavy duty battery is standard. It utilizes a performance camshaft to provide 110 horsepower and 115 foot pounds of torque. That's 20 additional horsepower and 9 additional foot-pounds of torque over the base 1.9 liter CFI engine. A 5-speed synchronized manual overdrive transaxle is standard for optimum gear selection and enhanced acceleration. And, like all Ford engines, it's covered by a 6-year, 60,000-mile powertrain warranty. P19560 HR15 performance rated radials provide good road adhesion. They're fitted to a set of 15 inch cast aluminum wheels for added road contact. These 15 inch wheels and tires provide a road presence advantage over GT's competitors. And combined with Escort's four wheel performance tuned independent suspension that includes McPherson struts in front and both front and rear stabilizer bars, Escort offers handling you'd expect from a serious driver's car. The GT also contains all the amenities of the Escort line and offers your customers many added conveniences, such as a standard split-fold rear seat, so skis or other long items can be carried along with a rear seat passenger. Special sport performance bucket seats help keep driver and passenger in place during hard cornering while still offering comfort for everyday driving. There's also a convenient fold-down center armrest. Through the standard leather-wrapped steering wheel, the driver has a clear view of GT's full analog instrumentation, including a tachometer. The graphic systems monitor, dual electric remote control mirrors, and power steering are also standard. The GT Special Value Package includes a tilt steering wheel and speed control for added driver comfort. Interval wipers, a rear window defroster, and tinted glass are thoughtful package features offering added convenience. An electronic AM-FM stereo cassette radio and air conditioning are package features which are popular with many prospects. But the big news with the GT Special Value Package is its sticker price discount. It's equivalent to the price of air conditioning, which is included in the package. This makes GT a tremendous value and a great story for you to present to your prospects. Escort GT. It's distinctive and value packaged. It's a very affordable automobile that's fun to drive. Like all 88 and a half Escorts, it supplies high feature content, the availability of special value packages, attractive pricing, extended corrosion and powertrain warranties, and the satisfaction of knowing that it's the best-selling car in the U.S. In fact, it's the best-selling car in the world. All this adds up to value. And value's the reason you have a tremendous opportunity with this new Escort values the reason why Escort is still the one. And